everybody to Access Sportsnet Lakers presented by your Southern California Hyundai dealers with big game James Worthy, big shot Robert Ori. I am Jamie Maggio and uh, this one stings, particularly this one stings. You know, it does when you when you have an opportunity to win yes. and the Lakers played extremely well. I mean, uh, they held the Clippers to nine fast break points. That's that's unheard of almost for a team that runs and guns. Lakers scored 40 points in the paint. They shot 51 percent. Uh, but the one thing that killed them was the, the free throws. Mm -hmm. uh, the Clippers had 43 uh, free throws. I think they uh, that was the key to the game right yeah. there. Yeah, they were, they were uh, Clippers were very aggressive. They went to the rack and they got a lot of calls. You know, since I can't get fined, the refs gave them a <laughs> lot of calls. You know, it was one of those things where you know, especially that one when Jeremy Lin went to the rack yes. and he didn't get DeAndre. That you know, that was kind of scary that they get yeah. that call. You know, that's one of the things that you got to get down the stretch when your team is not as good as the team you play. You got to get calls like that. Yeah, that can affect the game. Yeah. Free throws. That was a game changer. The one that one call that Jeremy Lin did not get, which was an obvious foul, and we don't like to you know, make excuses, but that would have been Jordan Hill's sixth foul, and that would have kind of gave them a momentum. He would have gone to the line, hit a couple free throws, so yeah. tough luck. All yeah. right, guys. Well, let's get into uh, the highlight from tonight at Staples Center. That's Carlos Boozer, by the way, in a Halloween mask and dirt rambus. Kurt's long-lost brother, I think. That's nasty. <laughs> All right, here's Carlos Boozer in the holiday spirit. Hope it upset the Clippers and... Uh, Jeremy Lin, by the way, out losing the ball. Chris Paul gets into Griffin on the other end for the easy dunk. That was 11-1 run for the Clippers early on. A minute later, Lakers down by seven. Kobe Bryant working on Matt Barnes. Kobe going baseline. Oh! That's the vintage Kobe Bryant facing up, getting his shoulders low to the floor. Right here, facing up, going baseline, and finishing with a nice reverse dunk. Kobe Bryant had a good game tonight. Shooting efficiency was pretty good. 6 of 15 for 21 points. All right, well, under five minutes remaining in the first quarter, Clippers up 22-12, and Blake Griffin, given too much space, he knocks down the three-pointer. Clippers extend the lead to 13 points. And later in the first, Clippers now up by 15. Bryant fakes the turnaround jumper, dishes it to Jordan Hill down low, who finishes it off. See, this is where you have to be available for Kobe when he's doing this. He's looking for guys. Find the open spot. Get to the open spot. Don't be a spectator. Get an easy two. Easy two. Seconds later, Lynn gets the steal on a bad pass by J.J. Redick. Takes it all the way home with the driving layup. Lakers go on an 8-0 run to get within seven points. Yeah, I thought Jeremy Lynn came focused tonight. He wasn't thinking too much. That was just a good aggressive play to get the layup. All right, well, here's Jamal Crawford. He scrapes the clouds with that 21-foot jumper and draws the foul. Clippers extend their lead to 11 points there. And six minutes to go in the first half. Lakers trying to surge back. J.J. Redick picks Wesley Johnson's pocket, kicks it to Blake Griffin. But Brian then picks Griffin's pocket, takes it the other way, gets it to Boozer for the layup. Being available, you got to be available, Kobe, because he will pass. Oh, well, here's Lynn with a nice pass to Ed Davis, who puts it in to bring the Lakers within three. All right, so Clippers still holding on to the five-point lead. Boozer working Griffin at the top of the key, blown right by him for the layup. Draws the foul. Cuts the deficit back down to three. And now we have under a minute to go in the second quarter. Lakers not going away. They're still down five. Bryant driving hard to the basket. Finishes with a nice up and under for two. Now that's what happens when you, you know, when you make a few assists. People don't know what you're going to do. When you get in there, the opening was there off the glass. Kobe Bryant awesome tonight. He did have seven assists tonight as well. All right, here in the third quarter, Lakers are down one point. Bryant gets Jordan Hill, who lays it in. Lakers taking their first lead since the beginning of the quarter. Next Lakers possession, Lynn sends it around the horn to Boozer, then to Hill for the layup to tie the game at 65 apiece. Seconds later, Lakers trying to keep pace with the Clippers, taking another lead. Bryant facilitating again. Lynn for three. Lakers get back out in front by one. Next Lakers possession following a turnover from DeAndre Jordan. Kobe on the baseline, taking Matt Barnes to school again. Beautiful reverse layup. Yeah, this is vintage Kobe, like we said before. Being aggressive, going to the rack with a reverse layup for two. And Lakers started the quarter on a 16-6 run. Under a minute to go in the third, Lakers up by five. Jordan Clark for the steal. Goes coast to coast. Misses the layup at Wayne Ellington for the putback, extending the lead to seven points. A time winding down here. Clippers still down seven. Jamal Crawford, monster three-pointer at the buzzer to close the gap to four points at the end of the third quarter. 
He had a big night for them. Fourth quarter here, Jordan Clarkson from way beyond the arc. That's good. Love the drive and kick it to the lane. Wayne Ellington drawing the defense, kicks it out to Carson for the three. Minutes later, Chris Paul throwing it up for Jordan, who slams it home. We're all tied at 97. Now, seven minutes left in the game, guys. The Lakers are holding on to a narrow two-point lead. Ronnie Price finds a wide-open Jordan Hill at the top of the key. Drains a jumper. Jordan Hill jumper was falling from the night. He's got to get him to keep knocking that jumper down, being aggressive. Under five to go. Lynn trying to direct the offense with the shot clock winding down. He decides he's going to take it himself. And he did. The three-pointer over Chris Paul. Yeah, he, he cleared Kobe out of the way that time to get that shot. He said, Kobe, move. I got this over CP3. Remember what you told me. Remember what you told me. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore me sometimes. <laughs> All right, guys, we've got two and a half to go. And here's Blake Griffin under the basket, the reverse dunk. Clippers are up by three. Now, Lakers answer, because here's Wayne Ellington for three. That's going to tie it up at 109. You need to see more of that Kobe getting guys open because if you're going to knock down that shot, Kobe's going to have the confidence to get you the or ball. Here's Jamal Crawford. He would have an answer, too. He way was downtown. hot all night. Yeah, that Jamal Crawford. Downtown. He was the answer tonight. And here's Kobe Bryant. Trying to get past CP3. Hits the jumper. Ball, too little. Jump right over him, shooting right over his head. <laughs> all right, Lakers down three. And Kobe... Trying to tie it. He got a good look, but it did not go. So the final score in this one at Staples Center, 118 to 111. The Lakers falling to 0-3 on the season. Clippers have now won the last four meetings. Jordan Hill, though, 23 points and five rebounds.